We have more video now to showcase that people might not have seen yet uh, of how that truck was approaching the crowd. The thousands, it was estimated five to 6,000 protesters were on 35W. We were in awe simply of how calm they were when they were sitting in the north and southbound lanes. We need to stop that. Stop. Stop. Hey, please stop. You didn't mean to. Hey, wow. hey, hey, stop. Stop. Not hurt him. It defeats, it defeats our purpose. Stop! Stop! I, I'm not sure how to even describe what we just witnessed. Just further confirming, Jennifer, that it wasn't as though the driver stopped right. after plowing in and watching the wreckage below the truck, bicycles that. Right. could have been these innocent people and the people throwing themselves at this truck to try and stop this driver. Yeah, this video clearly shows kind of what was left in the wake of the truck, the, those bicycles that you mentioned, but also you could clearly hear people saying, don't hurt him. Um, someone saying he didn't mean to. Uh, again, we don't know the intent of this driver at this time, but there certainly were some people that were trying to prevent further injury, uh, not knowing what the intent was at that time. But, but this person um, very close to the action, watching from afar, and then Jeff getting closer to get a front row uh, view to show us what happened. And as people were hanging on to the, the cab of that truck, and um, some people saying, don't hurt him. The sound of that horn approaching is frightening in itself when yeah. you understand the size of this vehicle approaching this crowd that at one point was sitting down and had to scramble to safety on a bridge with little to no room to even get out of the way. And, and we're watching it again, the people hanging on, trying to hang on to these handles along the side of the truck. Yeah. Trying to slow it down. Pleading with this man to stop. It just adds to the confusion of if he didn't know why, was he in fear of what the people might do to him? But to just continue going and then again, watching these bicycles get run over. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to see, and you, know, you see people pounding on that glass. I think they were doing that to try to stop it. Mm -hmm. and the only way they could is, is to get in there and, and put the put the brake on, right, to, to prevent further, sure. to prevent any injuries and to prevent um, this from going any farther and, and, and striking anyone. Um, but you see people saying, you know, if you're doing that, don't hurt them. Um, but but really dramatic here. Every view that we see just shows us another picture of what happened and another vantage point, whether you we were watching from above, Jeff, or now right on the ground, right in the thick of it, um, as people uh, get that driver out as we're watching uh, right now. And it's amazing to believe that we were told by Commissioner Harrington that nobody was hurt yeah. when this occurred. Now, again, we've heard varying reports that some people might have gotten hurt and were taken to safety by maybe another protest, protester, another one with sure. the vehicle. I've seen at several protests these makeshift medics who mm -hmm. have red plus signs as though they're like a red cross almost, and they're you know trying to assist people. Uh, we watched in that video clip and others, you know, people on the hood of that truck yeah. 
as it continued to go forward, and there were multiple times where it slowed down and then continued to go forward, even if that truck set a crawl, the fact that it's, it's strong enough to do serious damage to people, no matter how slow or fast it's going. And it, it's just hard to believe what we witnessed, uh, again, that started as a peaceful protest in which they closed, you know, the Department of Public Safety closed close the highways at 5 p.m. Right. to maybe prevent something like this. Right, to give these people that were out marching today that space to let their voices be heard, that space, that what was supposed to be a safe space for them today. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff, that clearly changed, and we know that uh, that driver was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries already released and now under arrest, saying that the State Patrol and the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension 